People are moving into an era of anywhere, any device connectivity and anytime computing, including applications for households, industrial systems, security cameras, baby monitoring, healthcare, wearables, cars, and so much more. The semiconductor industry and embedded solution players are in the throes of this digital transformation, acting as enablers of the next generation IoT innovation era empowering the things in the Internet of Things, acting as a catalyst for solutions from sensing to connectivity to computing. Focus on lower geometry designs, power efficient sensor designs, wireless networking, data security and cloud computing are at an all time high. Internet of Things growing rapidly due to which following challenges arise in IoT. To overcome these challenges, Semiconductor Industry prefers ASICs, Application-Specific Integrated Circuit, for IoT development. ASICs have significant advantages for the IoT design community, security, form factor, control, and lower costs. Typically, ASIC design flow consists of floor planning, power planning, placement, clock tree synthesis, routing, and sign-off. Among these, one of the most important stages is building the clock structure for flip-flop with clock tree synthesis. Clock tree synthesis is a process of building the clock tree and meeting the defined timing, area, and power requirements. When we talk about clock tree synthesis, or CTS, a few questions come to one's mind, such as, why is CTS needed? How is CTS helpful? How to optimize CTS? How to overcome challenges while implementing CTS. Let us first understand why clock tree synthesis is needed. It helps in providing the clock connection to the clock pin of a sequential element in a required time and area with low power consumption. Next, how can we design clock tree synthesis? At the initial stage, the following steps are required in designing clock tree synthesis. Defining the clock definition with the defined clock period. Scheduling clock skew to target skew values. Designing clock tree with mining source latency. Setting maximum capacitance value for the clock pins in balancing the clock phase delay. Setting maximum transition in the clock net in order to reduce clock power dissipation and clock cell delays. Building a maximum number of the buffer level to balance insertion delays from the clock source to all flip-flops. Identifying types of clock structure to be used. It is also important to understand how to optimize clock tree synthesis. In order to avoid high power consumption, increase in delays and a huge number of transitions, certain structures can be used for optimizing CTS structure, such as mesh structure, H-tree structure, X-tree structure, fishbone structure, and hybrid structure. With the help of these structures, each flop and clock tree gets the clock connection. During the optimization, tools insert the buffer to build the CTS structure. Different clock structures will build the clock tree with a minimum buffer insertion and lower power consumption of chips. Here's how clock tree synthesis helps. Firstly, it reduces the power consumption with clock gating. During the CTS step, Clock gating is a technique that reduces the switching power of dissipation of the clock signals and functional units. It helps in two major components of power dissipation. One, power consumed by flip-flops on each clock edge, even if their inputs are static. Two, power used by clock distribution and buffer network, which distributes the clock throughout the chip, even in areas that currently do not need it. Secondly, it helps avoid low noise effect with clock net routing. Routing of clock netless is done with the special non-default rules like double width, double spacing in the integrated circuit to avoid the crosstalk noise effect for the signal. Routing of the clock net is done at a special predefined layer to avoid delay effect on the nets of the integrated circuit. Lastly, it helps achieve better timing and speed with timing setup fixing via the following steps. Swapping HVT cells with LVT, ULVT cells. Upsizing the cells, increase the drive strength 
in the data path. Pushing, pulling the clock. Removing the buffers from the data path. Replacing buffers with two inverters, placing farther apart so that delay can be adjusted. Now, let us see how to overcome challenges faced by ASIC companies while implementing good clock tree synthesis. Some of the techniques to solve the CTS challenges are hold fixes, transition violations, and cap violation. E-InfoChips can help tech companies to solve CTS implementation challenges in their ASIC design requirement by leveraging a highly efficient and skilled ASIC design processes. We have subject matter experts to work on a highly challenging product design and development requirements. Our expertise helps semiconductor and product companies to shorten their time to market even while addressing challenges related to power, timing, and area. For more information, email us at marketing at eInfoChips.com or visit www.eInfoChips.com.